My brother Nick has low functioning autism. And the reality is, being affected by autism is complex. Every day, it is both a curse and a blessing. Nick has a hard time walking, talking, and interacting with other kids. When I was little, I always thought he was completely fine and just like a regular kid. I thought autism was just like being born with red hair, just something completely random but perfectly normal. And in many ways, it is. But it is just something you are born with. It doesn't make you stupid or contagious or an alien. But many people do not understand this. When I was little, kids would always ask me, why is he different and if autism was contagious? They were scared to talk to him and to touch him just because he couldn't walk or talk when he was five. It really hurt my feelings to see people freeze around him and not want anything to do with him. People would act like he had some tropical disease and it turned him into an alien. When I told them he had autism, they acted sorry and sad, like he was diagnosed with a terminal disease. But it isn't a disease and it isn't a tragedy. It is just something we can learn to live with. There are many embarrassing times when he screams and grabs other people in public, or when he sits down in the middle of the store and refuses to move and attacks you when you come near him. Me and my close friends and family know he isn't trying to hurt us. He is just having trouble and can't tell us the problem. Although knowing this doesn't make it easy. To other people, it looks like a very misbehaved child making a scene in public. And of course, he always has to be the loudest person in the room. He will scream and laugh and have so much fun because he doesn't hold anything back. Once, when I was eight, he was being so loud in the library and I tried to pretend he wasn't my brother. This is so funny because we look exactly alike. He isn't scared of what other people think and I know I shouldn't be either, but that's not always easy. Nick just wants to make the most out of every day. But people stop, stare, and some even point and whisper. We shouldn't make people feel guilty or embarrassed for something that makes them happy. It is hard for Nick to keep up and walk with us, and he will wander off, so he'll ride in a cart or a stroller. Sometimes we even carry him, which does look funny because he is almost as big as me. People always ask, how old is he? But I know what they are really asking, and that is what is such a big kid doing in a stroller? Why can't he walk for himself? or what's wrong with him. We shouldn't even need to answer those questions. Instead of people coming up to us and asking his name and age right in front of Nick, they should just ask him. He is not deaf and he can hear what people say about him. One of the hardest things about having a sibling with autism is knowing his restrictions. He can't keep up with other kids. He is nonverbal, so he can't talk and have conversations and tell us what is wrong. It's hard for him to run, to sit in a classroom, and to control his anger and his emotions and his body. And it makes me so sad to think he might never live in his own house. He might never have kids and a job. I just want him to have the most normal life he can have, but it's hard. When he gets upset, he becomes violent. And the bigger and stronger he gets, the more it hurts and the harder it is to protect ourselves. I worry about the future when he's 30. And if he still has trouble, I don't want people to restrain him or to put him in his own room. He is such a loving and caring person. And when he calms down and sees that he hurts you, he gets so mad at himself and starts crying and hitting himself. He understands what he did, but he can't help it. He tries his best, but no one is perfect. There are a lot of things we don't know about him. It is very hard for him to communicate and he can't talk like you and me. We call his talk Nick language, and because I'm so used to it, I can usually get the basics. But one thing that I hope he understands is how much of an impact he made on my life. Not just the struggle and the hard parts, but all the blessings he brings. He has changed me as a person so much. I had to grow up so much faster than other kids. I had to be independent and take care of myself. I had to become more conscious of my surroundings and watch Nick keep him safe in public places. I became more responsible because taking care of Nick is the whole family's responsibility. He also taught me to become a more helpful and caring person. He inspired me to volunteer for the Adams Camp and I hope to volunteer for the NSCD. 
Adams Camp is a camp for families with kids with special needs. The campers have intense therapy sessions and the siblings bond with others who share their struggles. The NSCD made it possible for my brother to ski and many, many others who need extra help. Not only that, I've learned to respect other people's lives and situations. I never judge someone because you have no idea what their life is like. And that is all I ask from other people. Every single day, without fail, when I get home from school, he gets the biggest smile on his face and yells, sissy, 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 and grabs me in the tightest hug. That kid is pure muscle, and sometimes love hurts. But we are all part of his learning experience. Whenever he runs a little faster or walks a little straighter, we all get so excited and cheer him on. And the first time he said my name, my heart actually imploded. Yes, sometimes he can be extremely difficult, and some days I want to change everything. But other days, I wouldn't change a single thing, because the reality of autism is that it is challenging, frustrating, painful, and embarrassing, and at the same time, it is valuable, humbling, teaching, and full of love.